For years, people have been hitting the weights to build muscles, and lots of people seem to focus specifically on bigger arms. It seems a lot of guys spend all of their gym time working on that one part of the body, with many people pretty much leaving their bottom half alone. Why the biceps are so important, we don't know. But if you want that action hero look, you're going to have to have a pair of fine, muscular arms. So today we'll tell you how to get that Terminator look and how to get it fast. First of all, we don't advise that you only work out this one part of your body. Just add this to your routine each day and even if you take a day off, it's okay to keep with the bicep training. We advise that you stretch after exercising and eat plenty of healthy, protein-rich foods. We also recommend that you don't go heavy every day. You don't have to go all out, but you should try to get the perfect technique. We'll start with the one we all know, or at least have seen. Day 1 – Crossbody Hammer Curl You'll do three sets in total. Each set will consist of eight reps for each arm. Ok, how do you do it? Choose a weight which you think you can manage for three sets. We suggest you start lighter and build up. It's good to warm up the muscle, but at some point we want you to struggle somewhat. We don't want you to take it too easy, but nor do we want you to try and lift something so heavy your technique is awful. This goes for every exercise we'll talk about today. Stand with your back straight, holding the dumbbells in each hand. Your palms should be facing in. So far, so good. Now, you're going to lift one of your arms towards your opposite shoulder without twisting the dumbbell. It's just straight up but across the body. So if you have the weight in your right hand, you'll be lifting it towards your left shoulder, hence the name cross body. As you lift slowly, exhale and hold the weight at the uppermost part of the movement for a very short time. You then slowly lower the dumbbell down to where you started. Keep your breathing and movement stable, no erratic jerks. Do the same for the other arm and finish the sets. Day 2 – Barbell Curl You'll do two sets, but each set will consist of five repetitions. Yep, that won't be easy. Again, start light and move up. To start, stand up straight, no slouching. Hold the barbell with your hands at shoulder length. Your elbows should be quite close to your body right now. You're going to bring the weight closer to your body, but what's important here is how you move. It should really only be your forearms that are moving. When you get to the top part of the movement, hold it for just a second and squeeze your biceps. This is going to burn at some point, but that's all good. Bring the bar down slowly, keeping this sturdy technique. Keep doing that until you've completed the sets. Day 3 – Dumbbell Floor Press You'll do three sets and each set will consist of ten repetitions. You might not have heard of this one, so listen carefully. Grab hold of some dumbbells and lie down with your back on the floor. It's not cheating to bend your knees. Hold those weights right above your head so your elbows are locked. Now you must lower the weights until your elbows reach the floor. It's up to you, but if you tuck in your arms, it will affect the triceps more. If your arms are more to the side, this will get your chest. When you push them up, the weights should meet at the top. Day 4 – Dips – Tricep Version We know we're talking about biceps, but you'll need to do this kind of exercise too if you want to look like Popeye. You'll do two sets and five repetitions. What you'll need is a pair of bars to do your dips on. The problem with this for some people is that they struggle to do even one, and we are trying to do lots of them. Don't fear, because many gyms will have an assist machine that helps push you up. If you can't find one, you can get a friend to partly assist you. If that's out of the question, just do what you can. If you can't even do one, maybe do the dips on a bench. Start with your arms locked and straight and then slowly lower yourself down. Inhale while you're doing this. You should go so low that there's a 90 degree angle between the upper arm and the forearm. When you push back up, exhale. Try and keep your back straight and your elbows close to your body. Day 5 – Superset on the last day of this workout, you're going to do two exercises for your arms. The first of these is called a cable hammer curl. You'll do four sets with 20 repetitions each time. You'll need a machine for this, but most gyms nowadays have these machines. The machine should have a pulley system and you'll attach a rope to the bottom pulley. This is so you can pull the weight up with your biceps. Stand about one foot away from the machine and keep your back straight. Your double rope will be held with your two hands and your palms faced inwards, each hand on one rope. Your elbows should be tucked into your sides for this exercise and only your forearms should move. If you start wildly moving about, you're definitely doing it wrong. Next, pull your arms up as you exhale. When you get to the top, hold it for a second and squeeze those now bulging biceps. Now slowly inhale as you carefully lower the ropes to where you started. Remember, this is not about speed but technique. Those guys in the gym going fast as they can and moving all over the place are doing it wrong. When you bring weights down slowly, you're working the muscle more. The second part of this superset is called the triceps pull down, and you'll also need a machine with a pulley for this except now you're pulling down rather than pulling up. You'll also do four sets and each set will have 20 reps. To do this, you'll attach a double rope to the pulley, also one of those ropes you can pull apart into a V-shape. This time, you'll stand almost straight, but it's good if you stand slightly inclined, leaning toward the machine. 
After this, you'll slowly bring the rope down so your hands are going to your thighs. When you get down to the bottom, the top part of your arm should be right up against your body, but the hands should have spread apart so that the rope makes a V. Still keep your hands close to your body. It's only your forearms that should really move. Exhale as you go down and inhale when you go back up. Don't rush this exercise. You might also find a V-shaped bar in the gym and this works just as well as the rope. So there you go. Do these 5 days and repeat until you hit 30 days and you'll certainly see the difference. There are of course lots and lots of variations of bicep and triceps workouts, but these exercises cover everything. It's all you really need to create those bulging arms. Now all you have to do is try it and come back later and tell us what changes you saw. For now, maybe you can tell us what you think about this in the comments and if you have any alternative workouts you want to add. Also be sure to check out our other video, I did 30 push ups for 30 days and this is what happened. Thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.